Hey, what is going on guys? It is Colin from CSP Tech here. It is now Thursday, May 20th. Google I.O. just wrapped up two days ago. And ever since then, they released the beta one for Android 12 on Pixel devices. And I've had it on my Pixel 5 since then. I've been testing it for the last few days and I really like it. I wanna show you guys what I think. This is just gonna be like a quick little informal video, just running through some of the main changes and some of the main features. So three, two, one, boom, there's my phone. So you guys can see it as I move it here. Uh, we're gonna be interacting with this together. So I just wanna go through some of the features that are new and just show you guys what it's all about. So first thing I wanna show you guys here is actually going to be the lock screen. Cause as you guys can see right here, everything's kind of moved around a little bit and I really like this. So the clock is front and center on everything now. It's always the biggest thing on the screen. Um, now that I have a slight notification just because I'm recording the screen, um, it's kind of moved into the top left corner with your date and your weather, things like that, just your alarm clocks, things like that. I really like where it's moved. If there was no notification, you guys can see the screenshot here. It basically just becomes a big center um, clock and it's it's a, it was kind of big at first. I didn't think I like it, but just being able to glance from it across the room, uh, glance at it from across the room, you'll notice that like, oh yeah, I see exactly what time it is because it's the entire display. So I really like that it's that much bigger. It took me a few seconds to get used to, but I like that it actually kind of takes advantage of the screen a little bit more than just the small clock in the center. So that's the first thing. Jumping into the second thing here is actually going to be obviously Material U. Now, what is Material U? If you weren't watching the keynote, you may have seen this. If I swipe down from the notification screen, you'll actually see that things are quite different. Um, everything's a bit bigger as mentioned, or a lot bigger in certain cases, and everything is just very clean. So you'll see that the notifications are all really rounded. They're not like their own cards anymore. They're all kind of just one big section of cards. So you've got your silent notifications here, your persistent notifications, notifications up top. Um, and then obviously you've got your conversations and things like that from Android 11. Um, but the one thing here that's really different is the quick settings. And I didn't think I was going to like this at first, but if you swipe down, everything's really big. And honestly, it's not that big of a difference in terms of actual functionality. It just looks different. So if you guys saw Android 11 or you've been using Android since I think it was Marshmallow back in 2014 uh, that they started this material design sort of thing, it's been the same. It's usually been three uh, quick settings across, couple down. Um, when you swipe down, you'd get like, you know, you'd have your six across, you pull down and then it expands. I really like that and I got used to it, but obviously it's, it is nice to see a change. Um, and with everything being that much bigger, you can see the brightness slider is huge huge now. Um, even the volume slider is massive for some reason. Um, I don't necessarily love that, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But all the big buttons here in the quick settings are just gigantic. So I can turn on do not disturb, do not disturb. And you'll see that um, when you click things, there's actually kind of like this um, shimmering effect that hits it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but if I can hold down, oh, I can hold down on it and see. You guys can kind of get a quick glimpse of it there, but as you click it on or off, it's kind of like this like sparkle that kind of goes in. It's really interesting. Um, but the other thing you guys will notice is that um, as you swipe through, all your buttons are on here um, and they're just, they're just really big. So whether you like that or not, it is gonna take some getting used to, um, but all everything is still here, everything still works the same, it all just looks different. So the whole point of Material U, which it isn't actually on beta one yet, but the idea being that you can, um, Click a wallpaper and your whole device will change in color. All the colors will match the screen and everything like that. Right now, it's just on the default. Um, so it's got like the blue standard right now. Um, but as more updates come out, we'll actually be able to see that. And if you guys wanna see what that looks like on the phone, then you guys can let me know. But let's say I had this wallpaper here, which is the, the rotating earth. It would pick black as kind of like the main dominant color. Um, and you know, the earth would have some blues in there. So when I swipe down, some of this might be one of those dominant blues with maybe some of the buttons and the arrows and things like that in one of the lighter colors on the screen. It's really cool that now you can really customize your phone or rather the phone will customize to you, which is really interesting. So I'm excited to see what that looks like, but as a first step right now, in terms of just an overhaul of how it looks, I think it's really cool. So the next thing is actually gonna be kind of performance and the way it runs. Uh, Android 12 actually runs quite a bit better than Android 11. It's actually surprising how much I've noticed it. Um, animations are fluid. Uh, the screen is usually at 90 hertz more often than it is at 60. Um, performance just kind of really good throughout the phone. I really like the way it responds. 
And so you, it's something that you actually notice. But one of the things that you will notice more on top of that is actually um, in the keynote, they talked about the ability to uh, work through uh, the way that Android handles processes and things like that. And they were actually able to reduce processing power, which allows them to increase things like animation speed and things like that. So you'll actually notice that as I get to the bottom here, if you flick it up, everything kind of jiggles now. Um, depending on where you go, you'll see that everything kind of responds better to your touches and things like that. As soon as it hits the top here, it kind of bounces. Um, I don't know if I love that, to be honest. Um, it is something that I didn't think that I was gonna, you know, notice that much, but it's kind of annoying at first because everything kind of jiggles um, when you pull it down, but I do like that it at least, you know, it's consistent across the board. So if you have the ability to turn that off, maybe in the future, I don't know, that would be kind of an interesting thing. But as of right now, I think it's cool that it's different and I do like that it's changing, uh, which is always good, but we'll see. I guess that comes down to personal preference. The next thing that's different here is actually just a couple different things. If we pop into the settings screen, you'll notice that again, everything is much bigger. This looks a lot like the um, Samsung setting screen. So you'll notice that Samsung always had just like big settings, nice and clean. Um, and you kind of just pop in here and you know, see whatever is going on. You got your apps, you got everything here. Digital well-being is all still in here, but everything's just big. So as you move things around, you can see that it's all just kind of laid up differently. It's good and bad, depending on how you see it. I like that it's nice and big and clean, um, but it's just, it's all customizable. So that's always fun. Another quick thing here, you guys will notice that as we've gone through here, you can kind of change more icons and make it more you now. Um, as you go into um, styles and wallpapers, you can kind of click on different styles. Obviously you can change your grid and stuff like that. I've actually gone in and messed around with this and I found that I actually prefer um, this kind of little squiggle. I've always had clean circles and I've always thought it was interesting. I didn't like the uh, the default shapes uh, that they had before, but if you pop in, uh, you can choose your fonts, different icons and things like that. Um, colors, but then you get to these shapes and so now you have all these different shapes. So I always went with the circles just because I thought it was interesting. You've got these like crazy ones now. So depending on what you like, this one was always there before. This is one's very Samsung. You've got like the big squares. And then I found this one and I just kind of really liked this weird off circle. Um, it kind of works with the uh, with the jiggly now. So everything's kind of just in this, you know, it's just kind of different now. And every time you open an app, let's say, uh, let me see if I can open an app that's not really going to matter. There we go, Etsy. So if we open up Etsy, you'll see that it actually opens up in that color, um, in that little shape as you open it up too, which is kind of cool. So uh, all right, so then let's talk about the last few things here. There's a couple things that are different here. One of the things I noticed is there's this extra dim function now on the screen. So as you go down here, you can bring it all the way down to as low as it can go. Um, and then if you click on extra dim, it just gets a little bit more dim, uh, which is cool. So I think you can kind of um, click it on. And so it kind of goes extra dim for that setting. So if it's bright, you click extra dim, it just goes down a little bit. I kind of like this because when you're, uh, when I'm going at night and I'm reading, bringing it down, you can still see that the light is on, but when you click extra dim, it just feels like it's turning off the backlight a little bit more, which actually makes it easier to read at night. Now, I don't know if this is specifically a Android 12 thing, but it's the first time that I've seen it. So I kind of wanted to mention that. So there's just one or two things left that I just wanted to show you guys really quick. Um, the wireless charging animation is really cool. So if I pop this down on my wireless charger, it kind of does the, the regular Android thing, and then it kind of shimmers out to the rest of the screen. So I really like that. Um, kind of just like small things that they're changing um, that as you click it down here, vibrates and then bing, <laughs> it's kind of nice. Um, another thing too is the power menu. So I actually really did not like the power menu um, on Android 11. Uh, because I'm in Canada, Google Pay is kind of limited and I don't really have that many smart devices. So when I would push to hold the button, it would bring out your cards and stuff like that. I just found it really unnecessary because you can just tap without pushing that button anyways. Okay, so when you get into the settings, you gotta go into system, you go to gestures and you will see at the bottom here, there's the power menu. Um, so you can click on a different thing. So by default, it'll be off like this. And then when you push the, whoa, when you push the power button, it'll bring up this menu here. You can bring in um, so your smart device features. So by default, if you did device controls, um, you turn them on, you can push and hold, you get your home controls, you get your Google Play, stuff like that. They're slowly getting rid of that. I think they're allowing you to change it, which is nice because I really hated that before. So now if you just hit hold for assistant, you push and hold. Um, again, you can say the trigger phrase, which is okay. Blah, da, da, and it'll do it. You can click on it from here. You can swipe up from the corner as always, but now it gives you an extra way to just push and hold and then you just start talking and it hears you that way. So 
pretty neat. And I think that about wraps up this video for some of the things that uh, are new on Android 12. Again, just a quick overview. If you guys like this sort of video, let me know. I will keep doing them as the betas come out. I'm gonna be testing it anyways. Um, and I'm curious to see how these things evolve. And if you guys wanna see more, then you guys know what to do. Just leave a like, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much, take care.